the never-ending debate over vintage U87 versus U87 AI is the recording studio equivalent of Ginger versus Marianne. And I wake up this morning and I discover thanks to the United Studio Technologies twin, you can actually have your Ginger and your Marianne. All in one microphone. You're listening to the dangerous mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. No excuses, no BS, no pants. Ladies and germs, meet the UT Twin 87. This microphone has both a vintage U87 like circuit and a modern U87 AI like circuit built in. Two discrete circuits in one microphone. And you can switch vintage modern right here. How amazing is that? Chad Kelly, dude, you are a freaking genius. I cannot believe nobody has done this before. Nobody has put two of the most debated and, and desired microphone circuits of the 87 in the same mic. And this is not just an EQ thing. It's not like you're switching to uh, an EQ curve that will model it. These are actually two discrete circuits as described here. Now, of course, uh, unfortunately, you're not listening to this microphone right now. You're listening to the Earthworks SV33 going into a Camden 500 and then into the uh, Brainworks 4000E SSL. So, but I bet you that this microphone sounds pretty damn good. All right. So I like the head basket. The head basket reminds me of a Brawner. It has that Brawner look, All right? It's kind of cool looking. I don't mind that it's a cylindrical head basket and doesn't have that chisel shape. But look at this. How cool is that? So when you switch from the modern to the vintage circuit, you're also changing the uh, polarization voltage of the capsule. Because in the vintage U87, the capsule is polarized at 48 volts at basically what phantom power is. Truthfully, it's, it's really like 46, but we'll call it 48. And the modern U87 AI, the capsule is polarized at a higher voltage, at 60 volts, which makes it more sensitive and it makes it quieter. But you lose a little bit of headroom. A lot of people think that the vintage U87 sounds a lot sweeter and the modern U87 sounds a lot more, well, modern, right? So the idea that you're getting both of these microphones <laughs> in, one, in one microphone, is just mind blowing to me. So I'm really, I just found out about this. So I wanted to share. Uh, this looks like a, um, this looks like a 3U audio uh, capsule. I could be wrong, but um, looks good. And I got to tell you, they make great stuff. Look at this transformer. This transformer looks fat, man. So they say that this, the transformer in this microphone, in the UT Twin, uh, has four times the metal mass found in any U87 style microphone. So what does that mean? That means you're going to get a purer, uh, your, your transformer is going to drive your signal further down the line if you're using uh, long cable runs. It also means that you probably will get a little bit more uh, heft in there than you will with some other uh, U87 clones. That's pretty cool. Love the badge. The badge looks great. The logo looks great. So uh, here's another neat thing that they did. So in the U87, well, in a lot of microphones, there is what is built in. A, a, a part of the circuit is created to block RF and AM in interference, right? Radio frequency waves or electromagnetic waves, right? You could have a microwave going off in the kitchen and your, you know, your microphone might pick it up. Because the electronics are sensitive to electromagnetic and radio frequency waves. But a lot of people think that having that circuit in a microphone changes, alters the sound of the microphone. Adding that protection against uh, frequency wavelength interference. So they give you the option. You can actually unscrew the microphone and change whether or not this filter is in place. So you can take it in or take it out. That is great. Why has nobody done this? Chad Kelly, you are a genius. So this is all I know about this microphone. Of course, they have a video out. And, you know, can you really trust sound samples in, in you know, manufacturer videos? I don't know. The only way to really know is to have it in your hands, in your space. But I got to tell you that I am very, very intrigued by the United Audio UT Twin. 
I, I may or may not pick one up. I'm not sure. But here, here's the crazy thing about this. You want to know how much this baby costs, right? You're thinking this thing is, is probably pricey. Get this, $6.99. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. If this mic sounds halfway as good as it should, given really, I mean, look at that. Here we go. You got a better picture, actually, of the circuit. You got Wema caps. I mean, you know, you're talking about high quality components, right? This, this thing looks, this thing looks like uh, it's going to move units. <laughs> that is my prediction. So uh, keep an eye on this because this looks really cool. All right. So congratulations, United Studio Technologies on your UT twin. I am looking forward to finding out more about this microphone. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, fading to black.